In the last video, I did the redistribution of external prefixes into OSPF, that would be uh, EIGRP into OSPF on R2, which makes R2 ASPR, Autonomous System Boundary Router. That one is going to generate those prefixes and advertise them using LSA packets type 5. We can actually see that if I jump to, let's say, R2 and to show IP OSPF database real quick. So they will be generated as LSA type 5. So the reachability information about those subnets that come from external source are always advertised as LSA type 5. However, we have a presence of ABRs, two of them, uh, it's R4 and R5 in our, in our network here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump to R4 and see its link state database and how it advertises those prefixes towards, let's say, area 4. Let's jump quickly to R4 now and do the same command, show IP OSPF database. Now, so what we see and we focus, we want to find out what is being advertised towards area 4. Let's just imagine that there's a router here uh, that receives those prefixes. So it needs to receive prefixes from area 5, from area 0, but also those external ones. So how does it get those external ones? Let's focus on that. It is receiving LSA type 5 and the advertising router, the one that originates the those uh, prefixes from external source is 2222, which is a router 2 in my topology, and it uh, generates that network 10220. Now, obviously, I can look at details of that show IP OSPF database, and I can go external, show me external only. So, this is the more uh, detail output about 10.2.2.0. So two things to notice. Uh, one, what is the advertising router? It says this is external network number and advertised by 2.2.2.2 and slash 28. It's a type 2 metric and so on and so forth. Now, let's just imagine for a, for a moment that there are some routers that are going to receive that and let's maybe um, make the switch one a router connecting uh, with all connected with OSPF to R4 in a minute. But apart from LSA type 5, I have on ABR, ABR generates one more type of LSA towards area 4. So ABR will be different than just the ASBR because it also generates LSA type 4. This is the summary ASB link state. That's LSA type 4. That is information from R4 towards the, its area. In this case, it's area 4. How to reach the 2222. So what it says, I am R4 and I know how to reach the ASBR. Actually, let's see that maybe in action, why it is required. Because uh, let's just go to maybe switch 1 and enable OSPF between R4 and switch 1. So I'm going to say uh, interface VLAN, for example, to no shot IP address is 10.1.2. Let's say 100. And let's enable OSPF on this one. Router OSPF 1. Let's make it a router ID maybe 7777. And let's run OSPF network on 10.1.2.100. 0, 0, 0, 0. It has to be in area 4 because area between those two guys must match. Otherwise, no adjacency and no exchange of databases. So shortly, I should be able to see that the adjacency is going to be built. Loading down. Show IP OSPF database. Actually, maybe maybe first. Yeah, and database. So let's see the database on switch one now. So now switch one is also receiving information about prefixes from area five, from area zero, but also those external. And we'll see why it is important to receive LSA type four as well. Okay, let's just maybe clear the terminal real quick. Show IP OSPF database. So it is receiving this LSA type five, yeah. Um, but look at the advertising router. The ASBR router ID is 2.2.2.2. .2 .2 .2. So 
So in other words, what it says that in order to reach that network and install in the routing table, we must know how to reach the 2.2.2.2. However, in our area, area 4, there is no 2.2.2.2, so we don't know where the guy is. If we did, it would be in our area, but we don't know. So in that case, we wouldn't be able to install that root but the one, the ABR that is actually introducing that external network to us says, I know, I'm for router 4 and I know how to reach 2222. And in fact, if I go back here, it does know that. So I say, it says, I am R4 and I know how to reach ASBR 2.2.2.2 because it is in my area. So this is LSDI type 1 and one of them routers is 2.2.2.2. So if you look at the topology diagram, in fact, it matches what it is here. R4 knows in area 0 how to reach R2. So it becomes the gateway for everything that 2.2.2.2 is advertising towards area 4, and the same happens on R5 in, in relation to area 5. So otherwise, if a switch 1 here receives the packet not knowing where 2.2.2.2 is and nobody told it how to reach that it wouldn't be able to install that in the routing table so obviously show IP route let's say 10.2.2.2.0 we have it as external type 2 prefix installed and we can ping that network so the LSA type 4 in summary is or summer ASB link is basically information how to reach the ASBR if it's not present in our area, which is exactly the situation in area 4 and area 5.